Where would you have been tomorrow? I would have been doing my event called Radical Chicken, yeah. a documentary about Islamophobia, war on terror, accessibility, and it was part two of my first event, The People's Chicken, which was a very big success, people of all races, classes, um, and we would have done a fried chicken feast, free fried chicken, Cordoba fried chicken boxes uh, for everyone. Fried chicken needs to be in our institutions. I remember Maria Balshaw of the Tate, she was going about how it brought black boys in with the fried chicken, but we need the fried chicken inside the art institution. And I would have been researching anti-Muslim exclusion, uh, which I'd started in the documentary archives. The staff were very helpful and kind, and they admitted very openly they had nothing about anti-Muslim exclusion or Islamophobia. And I was inspired by the work they did addressing post-Nazi, um, anti-Semitism, so they have a good, a brilliant guide about the Jewish connection with uh, Documenta, and I was very inspired by that to do equivalent for the Muslims. You know, the NSU murders, the neo-Nazi murders, were in that city. Uh, Christian Democrat politician Walter Lubney, he was murdered. That's a bridge in, in the city for him, for simply being pro-Muslim refugee. A uh, centre-right politician who was stabbed to death, and there were thousands of people rejoicing in his murder. You had know, the rise of forces like Pegida and AFD, open Islamophobia, and even from the centre. So DW bully their Arab Muslim staff, they're the German BBC. So all this stuff needs to be addressed, and I was addressing it. I was going to invite Hassan Fada, he's an excellent researcher from Goldsmiths and Tate, um, researching anti Muslim exclusion. Had Miko Peled, a wonderful Israeli uh, Jewish writer, uh, who wrote The General's Son, who Alice Walker called the best um, form of hope. You know, really recognizes equality for Muslims, also people under the war on terror. And Nabi Khan Dossos, who uh, does some really excellent work on prevent, apparently, in the forms of sort of unjust and oppressive Islamophobic. Uh, state security are also endorsed by the Green Party um, within Germany. Um, they're not like the British Green Party, they're very pro-NATO, very pro-imperialist. Even in the 80s they had um, paedophile activists in, in there. And I've been excluded, I've been expelled, I've been deplatformed, I've been banned for showing um, a film. I'm going to show a film, Try Radicals, which you can actually watch online right now. There's and they're going to screen that with an introduction by Project Artworks. And yeah, they've shown it before. Uh, they've also done the fried chicken piece before. They've also done a panel of mine before, which was very successful. And on the day I, I, I um, launched the event, a, uh, a politician from the FDP, which is a Thatcherite party, uh, Stephen Nass launched an online hate campaign against me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. He stalked and mined in a very McCarthyite fashion uh, my critical comments. So I, I shared a uh, news story from The Guardian on their YouTube about the remilitarization of Germany on the 7th of August. So in my home in London, in England, uh, about the 100 billion euro remilitarization of Germany, which I consider a colossal waste of money. Germany is not a 19th century imperial power. We do not need more wars. We do not need more aggression. We do not need um, or NATO wars, which cause untold amount of refugees. It was a huge threat to world peace. I follow Eva Morales in Bolivia, who's my hero, and I think the best indigenous socialist leader. Um, thinking NATO is the former threat to world peace. And so, in a really frivolous way, frivolous and pithy way, I wrote F the neoliberalism, F NATO, uh, F all these political structures. Um, and I called uh, Chancellor Olaf Stahl, who's a very corrupt man, a neoliberal fascist pig, which document have launched a criminal case against me. I've complained about racist abuse for three months, stalking, harassment, vandalism, murder threats, death threats, Islamophobia, people crudely calling me the N-word, people crudely telling me to go back to my cave, people calling me a terrorist, People calling me uh, communist, terrorist, hippie, uh, a, a, a Muslim Nazi pig, uh, thousands of insults, hundreds of insults daily, which I've all reported to Documenta. People attack my Wikipedia, my TikTok, my old YouTube videos, the full spectrum. Almost really targeted shit. 
and they did nothing, 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 nothing. In fact, they, I, I showed one guy who was threatening me, they had a picture of a dog, and they were like, oh, there's nothing you can do about it, maybe you can write to Instagram or something. It's like, so real threats were not dealt with, they were almost normalised. I mean, we had the uh, Beatrice von Starch, who used to be in the FDP, he was a literal blood descendant of Adolf Hitler's finance minister, um, come to our exhibition and call us all extremists, and send that to hundreds of people. Um, she was photographing the Black Archives, um, photographing things like Black Lives Matter, <clears throat> and instigating and inciting hate. And, and she's a woman who is so extreme, she says that Le Pen is too left-wing. She's so extreme, she's even, for a Western European, she's against um, abortion and same-sex relationships, which for a Western European politician is quite uh, starkly archaic. This is the de deputy leader of the largest opposition party. In Germany, it's just like the Lib Dems, it's neo-Nazis, like, and we do not pay much attention to the Islamophobia and violence and racism of uh, Germany. It's a really ethnic place. What do you think Document is losing for not having the event tomorrow? Document has no systematic understanding of Islamophobia. It has no systematic understanding of how to connect with the local community who are Muslims. All around Documenta, you'll see people in hijab, you'll see people from Yemen, Syria, Afghanistan. Uh, they don't have to say Islam to them. These are like all around. You can go to the local mosque on Jumma, a thousand people together, black, brown, Arab, Africa. Then you go to these places, like these special places for the like African cluster, all mayor, all white. Uh, so they don't know how to connect with the audience. They could have made real constructive progression. They, I told them they should recognise the Bosnian genocide. In Britain, I'm proud to say we have over a thousand events commemorating Srebrenica, the EU's official day, 11th of July. Um, what do they do in Document? Nothing. What do they do in Ramadan? Nothing. On Eid, they have a, a May Den weekend, a festival. Like, yeah. at least, you know, they wouldn't have it on Christmas Day or Hanukkah or Diwali. You know, they should respect uh, the Muslim artists and their families. And even for people who are secular, they'll have families who care about Eid, who care about Ramadan. So I said to them, why don't you just say Harry, happy Ramadan, happy Eid? Like, Liverpool Football Club can do that, proudly. Manchester United can do that. Every arts institution can do that. So why can't we? And the thing about documentaries is very much tied up with party politics. And party politics are uh, quite rotten. Everyone's unconditionally aligned to Israel, um, even the so-called left. So in 2019, they did an unsustainable and terrible piece of legislation, uh, criminalizing and demonizing the peaceful civil rights movement known as BDS, which um, modeled on the uh, boycott of apartheid South Africa uh, against another apartheid regime. Um, and yeah, it's really quite bleak, but you go to Berlin, you see the resilience of the Arab communities, you see people who could be in street souls selling like uh, bands for Gaza and solidarity, you eat fried chicken, they have prayer rooms in the fried chicken shop, we used to fried chicken, and that makes you feel hopeful, and you know, I met some wonderful people um, who want to help me, both locally in Kassel, helping with translation, they translated me like some terrible things as that locals have been saying. So locals in Castle, near Black Pond and Futurism, a fantastic installation, have been saying things like, here come the documenter artists, let's burn them alive in German. Like, I'm glad I don't understand German, because I get enough threats if I understand in German as well.